I invited three of the most knowledgeable RuneScape players and Hanani to talk about if we need stackable clues in this game. If you have any ideas or opinions about this topic, then please leave them in the comments because I want to start a massive discussion on this rather controversial topic. Without further ado, subscribe and let's get into the video. Do you want me to push any agenda? I'll push whatever agenda you want. <laughs> I'll get started by asking if you like clue scrolls. I don't. <laughs> Am I meant to say yes? Absolutely yes. I love clue scrolls. I love going around the world of Gilinor and solving random steps and then being able to open a juicy casket. Hey, I'm Drum. Uh, I love completing clue scrolls. Done just over 24,000 of them. And the goal is to try and receive as much third age as I can get. I've gotten about six unique third age items so far on my main account and just hope to get more. I mean, I, I like clue scrolls. I'm not huge on them, but I do enjoy them. But the problem, the biggest problem for me has always been that the clue scrolls are they, they get in the way of what I'm trying to do I no, they interrupt me and it annoys me you know especially if I'm doing a slayer task and then you get a hard clue you have to go into the wilderness for it so you usually bank everything or if you're a hardcore like I am I have to get in the tank set up then I do the step then I get, then I come back out, finish the clue, get back in my Slayer setup. What annoys me about them, one, is they always get in the way. There's like 15 different variants. <laughs> There's the mining one and the fishing one and the woodcutting one and then the normal one. So get rid of that. So what do you think about stackable clue scrolls? I don't think we need them and I personally would not want them. The whole purpose of clue scrolls is a distraction and diversion and the entire concept of getting a clue is meant to distract you away from the content that you're currently doing and divi uh, divert your attention away from what you're doing. You either, you know, suffer not getting another clue until you have that done or you do them right then and there and, you know, continue going. For you, it's the integrity of clue scrolls that we get lost. Yeah, if they were stackable, the people who currently do not do clues still probably wouldn't do them. They would just keep a whole stack of, you know, mm -hmm. clues in their bank. So I take it that you would be a proponent of stackable clue scrolls then? No, yeah, no, I would be, because then you could just chuck it in the bank. <laughs> and then just not do them in the bank? Yeah, and then never do them. I really think if we could at least stack like three of them, or four of them, then that would be ideal because then you can then you can dedicate an hour to doing the clue scrolls instead of being oh instead of doing it like a farm run almost where it's like well I got the clue gotta drop everything and go do this really quickly or else I won't get another clue. My personal take on stackable clues is we should not have them stackable. We shouldn't have clues actually be a stackable item with a one and a two and a three and a four and so on and so forth. I feel like in my opinion it's a slippery slope to just let's just send it like just unlimited like let's just give everybody unlimited mm -hmm. and then that that entirely destroys the main purpose of clues, which is a distraction and diversion. So why not a way to just be able to hold as many clues as we want, but they're not stackable? I do think that with that method, you would lose clue juggling, right? The, yeah, that's a great point. That is one of the downsides with this. However, clue juggling, like it's amazing. It does feel a little bit like bug abuse. It is a bug because the game thinks it's the same clue, right? Yep, yep, exactly. I have an argument against stackable clues. So I was at sand crabs in leagues and every time an easy clue dropped, I would sigh and I'd be like, oh, I have to pick this up because there's no downside to not picking it up. Yeah, it gets people less motivated, I guess, to do them, right? Instantly, because there's no well, yeah. urgency to it. I don't want to have to click on my screen when I'm doing sand crabs. <laughs> RuneScape really is the game we try our best to not play, is it? Yeah, exactly. I hate this guy. <laughs> but my, my whole thing with clues is that it's a way to progress your account and give you an extra motivation to get stuff done on the account. And that should be the main drive of clues. So I don't really see much of a big downside to having stackable clues besides the fact that for mains, yes, it probably, well, it almost certainly will drop the value of some of the unique items. And uh, yeah, that, that kind of sucks, I suppose, especially if you like doing clues for money. How do you reckon that they should introduce it to the game? Should there be like, should it be added to combat achievements or should there be another system in place to see how many you could stack, for example, if it's like an unlockable system or something like that? Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Um, I would think that no stackable clues starting out and then if you get the easy diaries done or the easy combat achievements done, then it's two stackable or yeah, two stackable clues, medium, three, four, and then 
uh, just work up from there. What's your opinion on it? So I think they should not be added to combat achievements if they're a thing, because I feel like it was kind of introduced as like a thing to keep the high level community busy. And now it's almost a diary that you have to do for quality of life. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they've kind of overtuned to reward on those. What I would like is some kind of clue guild. I don't know if you've been to Watson a lot, but that guy has some kind of clue point system that doesn't make any sense. Like it gives you a rank from, I think, beginner to legendary based on how many clues you've done. So if you were to scale that up from beginners one point, easy two points, etc., then you could actually make some kind of point system that could that you could then use in his shop, for example, to unlock stackable clue scrolls. And that way, the more clues you do, the more clues you'll be able to stack and stuff like that. Well, let me ask you, mm -hmm. Mr. Number One in Clues, I assume. Yeah, close. Uh, would you think it devalues your your time you know easy escape power creep all that some people also said that it kind of like evolved in a way where clues are actually actively done now and it's better to just stack them up and then actively do them in one batch as like an activity and not so much a distraction and diversion well that's more fun that's because the only time i've ever really done clues is leagues mm -hmm. and admittedly i did hate it <laughs> you think the community will want it at this point would it pass did, was there a poll? I, well, I think there was a poll at one point, wasn't there? Nowadays, it would 100% pass if it was pulled again. 100%. Because what leagues has got it in everyone's minds mm -hmm. now, you know? If they pulled it, it would absolutely pass with flying yeah. colors nowadays. Last time we got a uh, poll about it was 2019, which is five years ago. Got 64% yes votes. So I think this Sorry, time... I'm more shocked that 2019 was five years oh, ago. Oh, I had the exact same when I looked it up. <laughs> I remember that poll, and I'd only been playing the game for about a year at that point. I can't remember. I think I voted yes to the stackable clues. What I did last time for Linux, like I didn't, I don't play it. So I took a break for like a week or two uh, from streaming because everyone's focused on that content. But like the second I went live, they literally asking that question, what do I think about stackable clues? Should we get them? Do I want them? This and that. It like starts instantly. This time around, it hasn't stopped. Mm -hmm. uh, so the curiosity and the interest, not curiosity, but the interest of people for stackable clues has only gone up. This is the most I've ever thought about clues. I just want you to know that. I at least hope that when Wilderness Clues come out, which I do think they are coming out, that at least Wilderness Clues end up getting a stackable clue feature because i mean when it comes to the wilderness uh it's going to be even more of a nuisance if you get a clue and you can't end up stacking them because obviously you have to go and bank and then uh that it's more of a process because you can't just telly out especially if you're you know uh way deep wilderness do you think you're we're gonna get wildy only clues what is going to happen, my guess, is that Wilderness Clue Steps are going to be removed from all clues, and it's we're just going to have Wildy Clues. Wilderness Clue Steps have no risk involved with them, unless like maybe one or two Master Steps in the Wilderness. Other than that, no risk involved, there's not really much point. So just having all of the Wilderness Clues just be specifically for the Wilderness, and you can only get them in the Wilderness, I think that would be cool, as, as long as the rewards are good and they're really worth doing. I was going to say they should make clues a skill. Then I'll do it. I've got an idea about that, actually. Oh, yeah? What would you think about a sailing-only clue? So, like, let's say a three to four step clue across all the islands and the seas and stuff. We'll not call it clues. We'll call it, I don't know, musky treasure trail or whatever. Um, or pirate's treasure. That would function like a clue scroll, just smaller steps, longer distances. And it would, for example, give sailing XP at the end if you complete it. And then that might introduce some new collection log slots. Like, don't tell me there's going to be another fucking, like, clue in my bank. <laughs> <laughs> that is what is going that actually is a brilliant idea. I think uh, instead of calling them clues, maybe like call message in a bottle or something. So you just see them. Maybe, maybe you could even like throw your net out of your uh, colossal ship and it just like picks up messages in bottles. So now you're like having yeah, a collection of them. You're like, okay, let's go solve these. Honestly, I feel like they've probably already thought about that on the JMod side of things. And I feel like we might be surprised on some of the content that they're planning because sailing is coming into the game. And I wouldn't be surprised that they're going to have that of some kind. Ooh. Um, I mean, it kind of depends on how long it would take to get between these islands. Because, mm. uh, you know, if, if these clues are exceptionally longer than a standard clue you would have on, on land, then, well, they'd have to make up for that in some 
extra awards and what, what would they have tiers or would, would it just be one single thing yeah i'd say they'd be shorter than the ones on land but just further travel times so you like two or three maybe steps or so i, I feel like mm -hmm. opening the caskets however should give you sailing xp which might give it a fun little way oh for sure to yeah. get some some extra xp mm -hmm. the rewards though i've not really thought about much i mean they could just make a spin maybe they don't go clue scroll route but they just do a treasure trail like a treasure well that's basically what a clue scroll is but like it, more uh piratey treasure map find the loot and then you get some money in it as well as the xp like you said it's like a pirate map in minecraft yeah, exactly yeah no i'm down for that that's sell you on that that's See, that's good well especially no, if it would give... actually no i take it back <laughs> I don't know why I have you in this video to be very honest like no you need you need diverse perspectives do you think that they should introduce second age then in that clue Ooh. <laughs> we, we haven't uh fully designed all the third age pieces that could exist for example mm -hmm. a third age crossbow third age boots third age melee gloves those could have been lost in the deep ocean for over centuries Ooh, ooh, yeah no i'm so i want to stick to this is my personal opinion i would love to stick to third age first because as soon as you come out with a second age i feel like instantaneously third age just doesn't mean as much anymore and that's kind of depressing yeah 100 percent. people are gonna be mad though at like new collection logs oh god yes <sighs> adding one single third age item like something new to the collection log is gonna add years to it um so there would absolutely be people mad about it do you think that holds jags back on doing updates like that honestly i think it does do you care for grandmaster clues at all what the fuck is, is that a thing no but people have been talking about it what would it be imagine they're just like okay go complete an inferno right Things yeah. as difficult as that, or you know, whatever new content comes into the game, it, it's it's tough. So I'm I can't say I'm either pro or against it. I would need to see a whole blog post and Jagex lay out an entire list of ideas on every every point before I could say either yes or no on that. Well, what they could do is like lower the steps, make the steps really hard, but make it like four steps, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Some people might like that aspect of being, oh, you got to kill a Zuck. Oh, next step. Now you have to do an awakened Leviathan. Uh, next step, you got to have 99 thieving. But is it going to be worth the dev time if that's only going to include like 1% of people that is going to be doing those? Well, that, yeah, that's true. Uh, but master clues are probably what? 15, like 15% of players? Yeah, not even that maybe. Yeah, that's why I don't, that's the exact argument why I'd say no grand master clues. Because masters are difficult enough for the casual player base, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. But that's why they're called Grandmaster. That is true. We hate Grandmaster clues. Too much thinking. That's what I say. <laughs> that Too is much very clicking. true. <laughs> Do you think that the plugins made it clues bad or better in the long run? I think they made them better for sure. I think more people but, actually want to do them now. Yeah. What What are your thoughts on this? Let me ask you, because we have a strange old lockpick mm -hmm. that unlocks the Barrow's doors just freely. It has like 50 charges. What would you think about a strange old puzzle solver? An item that you actually probably would get from clue scrolls themselves. It'd be sort of like a master scroll book, that kind of rarity. And what would it do? Would you just use it on it and it just completed? Yeah, so you would use it on either light puzzles or slide puzzles or whatever, and it just insta-completes. What are your thoughts? I don't know if that would hold value now that Runelight solves it, because it takes like five seconds longer, I guess, but it could be a nice little add-on. But what clue would you add it to? Uh, they would just come from any clues, I think just the... Oh, yeah, just like shared. Yeah, or maybe they could just come from hards and above. But um, I guess the idea behind it is for like those that are super, super avid clue doers. Or mobile, I just realized. Yeah, that uh, yeah, that would be That'd another. Be huge. Yeah, that would be a massive. Yeah, it'd be nice to buff that shared table a bit because now the pages aren't worth, worth anything anymore. Even if you get like, let's say eight or something of those and they're 6k each it's a nice I thing know. to buff it what about a ring of clues and the clues automatically go into your interview inventory like the ring of wealth or added to the ring of wealth for that matter that thing needs a buff anyway oh, true. yeah and then that way i don't have to click it <laughs> no the i'll tell you what i tell you what i want added to the game which you will hate not maybe you won't hate but i want to toggle four Clues? Clues. Oh, yeah, so I can just say, hurt. stop giving me fucking Holy clues. Holy shit, that hurt. Every time I see them, they annoy me. <laughs>
What an absolute privilege to have these four creators in the video today. If you guys don't know them, or if you do and you're not subscribed yet, go to the description and please subscribe to their channels. They're all amazing. As a conclusion, I thought I'd just drop in here and lay it all out for you guys so we can have a discussion in the comments. So please feel free to give us any ideas or any opinions on anything we've said in this video. Maybe a Jmod will see it and maybe your idea will make it into the game. Who knows? But basically what I've picked up is that there's a couple pro and cons to stackable clues. I'll start with the pros. It's just more fun. You don't get interrupted while doing other content and you can have massive clue sessions. And if you enjoy clues, that does sound pretty fun. It's also way more efficient for all the efficiency scapers in here, kind of tying into the previous point, you don't have to stop what you're doing to do a clue. And thirdly, with the clue boxes like we've already seen in leagues, you don't lose clue juggling. Now, whether or not clue juggling is actually a thing that should be in the game, I'll leave in the middle, but it is a solution to keep clue scrolls how they are, but make them stackable. They're still the same old clue scrolls and nothing inherently changes other than them being in a box that is stackable. Now there's a couple cons, and maybe these don't weigh as heavy as the pros, but they're still very valuable to mention. The number one point is obviously clue integrity. Like we've heard many times in this video, clues are supposed to be a distraction and diversion. Making them stackable makes them more active and not so much a distraction anymore. When they're stackable, people might also get tired of clues. I don't know if you've played the league, but I had like 300 hard clues in the bank that I couldn't bother doing because the stack was so big. So would it demotivate people? Maybe. Maybe it motivates more people than it demotivates. And thirdly, the economy on clue items might completely crash because more people will be doing clues. This kind of goes against the second point because I kind of just said that less people might be doing clues, but you never know. There is a chance that regular clue items will lose even more value. And a lot of them are already completely useless and not worth anything. So will it crash the economy even more? Maybe. If you guys enjoyed this video, there will be a video on my second channel very soon within the next like three days or something that is basically a longer, more nuanced version of this video. If you want to hear more ideas and opinions of the other creators in this video and me, then check out that video and subscribe to the second channel, which will be linked in the description. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in game or in the next video. Now go do some clues.